Moving on to our next topic, censorship is publishing restrictions imposed from outside the newsroom, from the courts, the military, or school administrators. It's the government telling you what you can or cannot print. Now, the worst part about censorship is the suppression of, well, we don't know what information is being suppressed. And that's the problem. Now, what censorship is not is publishing something and then getting in trouble for it. Free speech does not mean that your speech is free of consequences. Now, self-censorship is when publishing restrictions come from inside the newsroom, either from your editor or from yourself, in choosing not to print something that might damage a person's reputation, upset a major advertiser, or any other number of reasons. While American newspapers are free from virtually all forms of outside censorship, student publications are not so fortunate. Some student publications face what is called prior review, an advisor or administrator approving copy prior to publication and making any changes they see fit. Now, student press law is a complex issue, but what's important to know is that not all schools are created equal. Public colleges, places like Durham Tech, have the highest level of First Amendment protection. Student editors have control of the content of their campus publications. School officials cannot fire editors or their advisors, discipline reporters, confiscate publications, withhold funding, or make other attempts to censor or manipulate content. Now at NC State, the advisors will certainly read over any copy you'd like us to and make suggestions or talk out a difficult issue before publication, but, the final decision rests with the student editors, always. Public high schools have more limited rights based on two Supreme Court cases. The 1969 case of Tinker versus Des Moines School District ruled that free expression must be allowed, provided it doesn't disrupt school discipline or invades on the rights of others. The 1988 case Hazelwood School District v. Kohlmeyer, however, ruled that censorship is allowed in certain cases, but that extracurricular publications enjoy greater freedom than if a newspaper was created as part of a classroom activity. Private colleges and high schools, however, are a different matter. At private colleges, places like Duke or Shaw University and private high schools, the law does not prevent censorship. The administration can act like any other publisher and control what's printed. Now that doesn't mean that their student newspapers are always or even sometimes censored. It just means they can be and there's very little anyone can actually do about it. Now, if something can be done, you can bet that the SPLC will do it. The Student Press Law Center exists for both public and private schools to help provide resources to student journalists and their advisors. Their executive director, Frank Lamonti, is one of the most amazing people I have ever met. And he is so incredibly enthusiastic about student journalism. Now, I've had to call the SPLC during my time at NC State, and the entire organization is just phenomenal. <laughs>